This is an updated 2.0 version of my original video on how to factory reset a locked Wii U game system. You'll want to try using this video first to unlock and factory reset your Wii U. If you're still unable to unlock your system and do a factory reset using this video, just watch my original video for more help. There is one scenario where you'll need to contact support. That is, if your Wii U has a parental lock and all of the accounts are password protected so you cannot access the main menu. This is the main menu that I'm referring to. Support can help you unlock and reset one of the Nintendo Network ID accounts so you can access the main menu. As long as you have access to the main menu using either a local account or a Network ID account, you should be able to reset your Wii U on your own without the help of customer support. All you'll need is the mKey website listed here, which I'll explain shortly. Here are the steps. First, try to access the main menu using an existing account. If all the accounts have a password that you don't know, try to create a new local account by clicking on the Add New User button shown here to create a local account. At this stage, if you get the parental control lock asking for a four digit code and you don't know the pin code, you will need customer support. Watch my original factory reset video to learn how to unlock your system with support's help. When creating a new account, be sure to say no to the Nintendo Network ID. This will only be a local account. Now, using one of the existing accounts or the account you just created, navigate to the main menu. Then navigate to the system settings by clicking on this icon. Then click on the set date and time icon and write down the date shown. It's okay to set the correct date and time before you write down the date. Now go back to the main menu. Click on the parental controls icon. Because they are locked and you don't know the pin, I will show you how to remove the parental controls. This can be done at this stage. Click the I forgot button in the top right corner of the screen. Now click it again. You'll be given an inquiry number as shown here. Write this down. Now using your computer, navigate to this website. Using the mKey generator website, select the device type, Wii U. Put in your system date that you wrote down. Leave the additional data blank. Put in your system inquiry number that you wrote down and click go. Your master key will be shown above. Write this down. Now back on your Wii U under the parental controls, you will click next. Here you will put in the master key from the M key website that you wrote down. You are now taken to this screen where you can click delete all settings on the top right hand corner of the screen. On this page, you will select delete and this will delete all the parental controls so you can do the factory reset. Click OK. Now to do the factory reset. First, make sure your gamepad is fully charged or plugged in and connected to the internet. Then access the main Wii U menu using any available account. From the main screen. Select the system settings icon from either menu screen. To delete accounts that are linked to a Nintendo Network ID, your system must be connected to the internet or you'll get this message. If you need to connect your system to Wi-Fi, you can find the internet settings on the bottom left of the system settings screen. Be sure to test your connection to verify you have Wi-Fi access to the internet. Next, navigate back to the system settings and select the delete all content and settings icon on the bottom right corner. On this screen, click next. And on this screen, click delete everything when the button turns orange. You will get the following message. After your system is factory reset, you may need to turn the system back on and reconnect the gamepad and set up the system again by creating a new user. As network support has ended for the Wii U, you'll need to select no when asked about a Nintendo network ID. By using a local account only, your system can use your game disk and any loaded games. Once your system is reset, it's best not to use any password controls, so you can always access the system now that support has ended for the Wii U.